Hello everyone, welcome back, uh, haven't put out a video in a while, but here we are. So, I uh, forgot to do a script for this video, as always, so yeah. Okay, let's start the content. So, today, we are, or well, I'm going to show you, you know, the tutorial level for dogs for shoes and hand grades, because I totally haven't run out of video ideas, and, yeah. So yeah, for those of you that don't know, uh, H3VR, as it's often referred to, is a gun simulator, basically, when grenades and exploding hot dogs and what? Well, yeah. Yeah, it's a gun simulator. And I decided to review it today, but want to do it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So yeah, uh, starting off, first table, probably quite a good script description of it. It ranging from, you know, baseballs. Can I hit some? Wait. Where did he? I think his people needed him. Yeah, that works. Anyway, there's a can. Well, tracking's all dead now. I have no clue. Well, yes, that is a flying steak. Before you ask, so starting off. Exploding bananas because why not? There's a lighter which for the life of me I How do I <laughs> Yeah we don't need this so, matches. Can we light this? Yes. Okay, we can light two, that's good enough. It's a banana bomb. Well... Yes. It is indeed a banana bomb. What just... what? Excuse me? What on earth? Okay, I'm gonna reset this table. <laughs> oh, that's just Jerry. Exploding hot dog. No, no, that's a shame. Probably what you'd expect. You know, an exploding hot dog. That poor cactus. What has he done to deserve his treatment? Just throw this away. And just... Yep. Why the cactus? <laughs> Why me, said the cactus. A cyber grenade. I have no clue what this is. Why does it exist? Because cyber things are cool. Oh. Throw it. It starts... Actually, I should probably get down. It has the word cyber in front, so it's immediately, infinitely superior to everything else that ever existed in this universe. Right, let me change the audio a bit. Let that work a bit more. Yeah. Alright, now... This is an M259, I think. M219, I was a bit off. Which eye is this? Okay, it's from my right eye. You know, standard fragmentation. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh 
How? Huh? Why? Okay. Oh, God damn it. I know your life is suffering. I don't know why. Pretty simple concept. Why? Why me? Dynamite? Pretty simple con- Please kill me. End my suffering. The throwing is just ever so slightly incredibly glitchy. <laughs> yeah, no, we know, Jerry. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I think you get what the dynamite does by now. And then we get on to... Bang snaps. Can I drop him? Can I just... Yep, I can just... And say we get this match. It's actually quite satisfying, isn't it? Oh. Shut up. Quiet. 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 I know you are in pain. But please be quiet. Jerry was never seen again. Onto the salad bar, as we call it. This is where the game gets fun. I in my opinion. Where the guns happen. Yeah. 205 snub. Revolver, of course. Short barrels. Seems like a. Six round chamber. You know, this is probably the reason I bought this game. The guns. If I haven't mentioned it already, it has some of the best guns in gaming. They're, they're accurately modelled, they look good, they're fully functional, except for this hammer for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. You can pull that off. Everything in this game is functional. Nearly everything. M1911. Or a classic 1911 as the game calls it. I should probably be putting these in max lots. Aye. Is this loaded? Yeah. Can't tell, is it? Yes, it's loaded, okay. Is it? No, yeah, okay. 1911, again, you can't uh, lock it back manually, but that's not really necessary for this gun. You can do this. Or not. <laughs> or not. Sh yeah, yeah, sure. Can you re release this? No. Oh, yeah, okay. Kind of. Yeah. Go with these. Deagle 44. Again, I think it's a 50. I can't remember what caliber this one was. Again, shoot it. Do those. Come on, shoot the barrel. Yep. Yep. 
Yep. <sighs> Be so cool with that, actually. Yeah. Funny for mag. Okay, uh, I think we can skip these. And now, again, soup station. Uh, if you can't guess, this is incredibly food based. Thompson. If you want to truly have that, uh, like, 19 somethings, um, Morocco feel. But right, single fire, rapid fire. You can change it by putting your right joystick to the left and clicking. Change the fire modes. Safe. Yeah. Again, fire it. Fully functional as always. And when you're done, you can always you can just flavor soup with it. I mean, who doesn't love gun soup? Let's add some showcasings to it. My masterpiece. Alright. And here is where the... Fun begins. Because despite being a simulation about guns... This game does not take itself seriously in the slightest. Because whilst you have, you know, normal things like slug shells, you know, can't go wrong with these, just for no one, the non buckshot shells, so it was super, cool. you also get to things like Freedom Fatty. Is that a six, five round chamber? I can't remember. Four. Life. You get to things like Freedom Fatty, which is probably the most American thing you've ever seen. I mean, it's American fireworks fired out of a gun. The gun is also from America. Just, you know, want to spice up your 4th of July, I guess? I, I don't know much about America, so I am truly sorry to anyone who's American. Alright, and now we have Dragon's Breath. It, if you've played this game, you know it is wild. <laughs> uh, give it a second. Oh yeah, I won't spoil that, I just want to not waste any birds. Right. As then we have Dragon's Breath. Again, this maybe isn't it not taking itself seriously, but is definitely it not being your typical what if I I am the soup. I am the soup flavor help. Help 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 <laughs> Help Welp, I guess I'm stuck here now. Now what? Uh, um... How did I- how did I get myself into this? Help! I'm launching Dragon's Breath. Oh yeah, that's Dragon's Breath. What if I... Don't do this at home. No. When, mm. Can I like Sure. Alright, uh, let's get back to the place where we were. Hot bar. This is where the fun truly begins. 
with the hot bar. I mean, it began long ago. These are proper rifles, you know, not um, uh, SMGs or shotguns. These are rifles. <laughs> Wait, give me a second. Alright, uh, yeah. Yeah, I had to go over a thing, bulk. Uh, where was I? Yeah, this is where the fun begins. These proper rifles, you know, not, not SMGs, not anything else. Probably my favourite one, overall in the game, and in the world, it's Mosin. Just look at it, it's beautiful. But also, the models look absolutely amazing. That's fun. Quick rundown of Mosin. I can't remember anything about it, I'm gonna be honest with you, but... In order to actually pull it back, because I can't do anything now, you have to turn off the safety, you have to push this in, then we can pull it back, load in five rounds, pull them in, it's a bit clankety because it's a Mosin, and then you have this. So yeah, this is a really fun one to use. I just love bolt actions, I, I won't use these. Like, to make video go on. Like, I... One time I was playing this, I... Just did nothing but fire this... For a good 15 minutes. I just thought you might want to know that. M4, this is quite good. Show of the uh, customization possibilities of this game because you got things leading from suppressors to Moroccan flags. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, let's you know, you can attach a suppressor. I actually have to twist it on, which is really annoying, but also really fun at the same time. Then again, I like any. Oh! Oh, no! That was like £50 wasted. Is it? Yep. I can't remember how this works. Could it be this? Yes. To put it back after, I think. Yeah. Boom. Variable zoom optic. You have a magnifying glass on the side if you need it. Suppressed full grips. You know, just a vertical one. Blowtorch. Don't ask me why. Might want it. And a flag for. So yeah. Just a stand. So yeah, just a standard issue. It's a standard issue. Gone, you know. The thing troops all over the world use, you know. There's nothing different about it. Absolutely nothing weird. This is weird because it's a it's a mag from the original M sixteen A one. These are the ones used in Vietnam. Don't know why that's here. Yeah. Safety. This can actually detonate these in one. Anyway, so you got these. Boom. Instant scope. So you don't have time, just look at that. This is a beautiful beauty of the AR platform. Something in nothing. I'm gonna keep this for later, you see why in a bit. 
onto the dessert table, and oh boy, is there things here. First off, I mean, I yeah, you so you want it, want this? I'm sure of it. A minigun, because minigun. You have an ammo box with ammo the size of my. Actually, this is just normal size six, isn't it? What's it? What ammo is this? What does it say? Oh, that's weird. But yeah. I'm not gonna fire both of those. So, you actually have to rev it up. And then... You have this. Oh god, wait, those were graves. Is it graves? Come on. <laughs> and there you have it. What happens when you fire? So, oh god, it's hot. Hold up. Gonna put it here to cool down a bit. This is really satisfying. <laughs> then you go on to some more olden day methods. Oh, olden day methods. Um. Like this, a hand crank gun. Pretty sure you drop bullets into here somehow. And it's exactly what you think. Crank it around, and it fires, and it goes boom. Not really much to say here, is there? I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, I'll do the. I'll do the RPG first. And, yeah, now we have, here you have. Right, I forgot about that part. Okay, there goes the... There goes the RPG. <laughs> that was a prime example of what not to do. When handling an RPG. That was another prime example of what not to do when handling an RPG. I'll just spawn some ammo for it. Don't explode. Don't. Explode. Got an RPG, safety off, this is the firing pin, trigger releases this, this is that, there's a fuse in the rocket here. Back blast clear. This is the thing that you should shout when firing this, as if you look behind there, there's a little, yeah, there's a thing that'll come out this way. Oh, I'll show you it in a second. Back glass clear, and you can bang, and the dirt is gone. You no longer have to clean your house by the RPG for twelve pounds twenty-five. And about the back glass part, if you look at it this way, you see. Uh, so shoot it in that direction. 
Usually there should be a thing like yeets itself out of that place, out of the port. Apparently it doesn't though. I guess that's for the best. And so some things in this game need an entire um paragraph of writing just to fire. As with this. Insert BCU, this is BCU, it's full of argon gas, I think. Only 45 seconds, I'm pretty sure it's a laser. Firing hand, click the touchpad, the joystick, engage targeting. Aim at the planes above. Grab the four with the other hand, aim at target. Snowflakes in the snow club, flying stakes in the sample platter. That lad over there. Is there something loaded? There's nothing loaded. Hold, t hold aim on the target until it changes from no noise to clear. Click and hold a touchpad or joystick on the target hand to free your missile. Your tracking camera, which allows you to aim launch 25 degrees from the target. Give it clearance. There's this, it launches something and just kind of fires it out. And then, looks like, I'll show, I'll show you in a second. Alright. Alright. God damn it. Why are you like this? I'm gonna have to reload it. Yeah, now you can't have them. I target that. Come on. Yeah, see? Ha. Huh? So, what you saw there was a little rocket came out of this and launched up to about. 10 meters and then fired it. Three of this is one, you don't get blast in the face with incredibly hot gas. Two, it conceals the shooter's position because you won't see a trail of smoke from where, you know, they shot. Now, the final thing I want to say about this is that you know how stupid this blowtorch looks? Well, guess what? It has a purpose. Because we go to grenades. There's a Molotov. Here's a Molotov. Go to grenades. Get a Molotov. Oh, we're in a combat scenario and you have to throw a Molotov, but you can't let go of this for whatever reason. Oh, right. You attach this fancy gas lighter. And now, all your friends are jealous because you have a fancy gaslighter. You can swiftly eliminate the opposition. There. Now, we'll... Quickly. I want to say another reason why... I feel this game is not serious. In the slightest. Is this? Or not? Wait, it's a grapple gun. Which can also do that, apparently. Because why not? 
couple of times when you just want to fly. Just, yeah. Oh, yeah, this. So, uh, yeah, there's this. Come on. Which, yeah, there's a giant M1911. Head over to the outer range. Not really, but still. Pull it back, is this... Is it? Oh god. Oh. Yep. Was it loaded? Seems loaded. Put it down. And fire off. Oh, not shooting far enough, just aim it higher, because that's how physics works, apparently.